If you had an allotment during the Second World War, then the recipe that we're about to make would have been quite popular with you because it uses a lot of the produce that you were able to get from your allotment. It was called Hummity Pie and it was very popular with the land girls as well. So you would need to make it you will need some short crust pastry, one apple from the tree in our allotment and some of our allotment grown potatoes, uh, leeks, a little bit of thyme from our herb garden and trust me they are garlic again from our allotment and lots of people keep, kept hens during the war so we have one of our hen's eggs. Now what not many people kept during the war were goats but uh, we do but I have spoken to people who kept goats during the war and they were able to increase their milk supply sufficiently to make cheese so you need a bit of cheese as well for this uh, this recipe and this one we made a couple of years ago from our goat's cheese, our, from our goat's milk. Uh, like it to be very ripe because it's two years old. So this is how to make a homity pie. Four potatoes chopped and into water and bring up to the boil and simmer for a few minutes until they're softened through. Meanwhile, line a baking dish with short crust pastry and put that into the oven at 200 degrees centigrade for about 10 minutes. To keep to the true wartime spirit, we've put a bit of butter into a frying pan rather than oil and we're going to use this to saute the garlic, about four or five cloves of garlic and two chopped leeks. The leeks have been cooking for about 10 minutes so what I'm going to do now is add in the thyme and one chopped apple. I'm pleased to say that our homemade cheese, despite it being two years old, has still worked rather well. Now it's got quite a tangy, heavy goaty milk flavour to it and it's very crumbly so it's certainly going to add quite a bit of taste to the pie but nevertheless we've put in about 100 to 120 grams there and that's going to go into a bowl along with a whisked egg. The potatoes are ready and they've been strained and in true wartime domestic goddess style I've saved the water that they were boiled in and that will be used to make stock but otherwise this is now ready to go in with the cheese and egg. The leeks and apple are ready as well so they too can go into the mixing bowl. I will also add a bit of salt and pepper. confess we have had a little bit of a setback with our pastry. The um, sides have rather collapsed in. Now we ain't going to waste it and sadly it's the only one that we made at the moment so we're going to use it anyway but it forms a base and because it's in a baking tin then it should hold the contents together so we're now going to add the filling to it. This is now ready to go into the oven at 220 degrees centigrade and it stays in until it is browned on the top. Well it's had about half an hour now and it's nicely browned so I think this is ready. We left the pie to cool down for a couple of hours so here goes. Hey, not bad.